guys, welcome to my channel and in today's video I'm going to show you another lovely makeup from my Christmas series and this is a lovely purpley cranberry um, pink and purples makeup for those of you who like quite a dramatic look. So if you'd like to see how to recreate this look, please keep on watching. start by mixing two primers, the Wonder Glow and the Skin Perfect Primer by Dermalogica. So I'm just going to mix the two primers and apply them onto my face. Then I'm going to take my Ben Nye palette and I'm going to do some concealing. Um, so I'm going to take a little bit of this shade and just pop that under my eyes just to conceal um, the discoloration. And this is a nice peachy tone that will counteract the darkness, as you can see. Okay, then I'm going to take my Maybelline Color Tattoo and this is in the shade Creme de Rose 91 and they are very very similar to MAC Paint Pots um, except they are much cheaper. So I'm just going to take that again onto my finger, so warm the product up and apply that all over my lid up to the brow bone. And this is a very very natural colour that just mimics the skin colour and it's not going to give you a lot of base colour but what I want to do is just take off any discoloration from my lid. I'm going to take Max Wedge onto a fluffy blending brush and I'm just going to apply that into the crease all the way. So all the way in like a windscreen wiper motion like that. Then I'm going to take a smaller dense blending brush and I'm going to be using the Real Techniques and this is RT201. This is quite dense, it looks like a pencil brush but it's much more um, bigger. I'm going to use Inglot's eyeshadow for that and this is number 308 and this is a very dark and I'm going to take that and I'm going to apply that onto my outer corner in some like a B shape into my inner corner as well. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Just leaving the middle part of the eye clear of the eyeshadow. And I'm going to take the blending brush that I was using before and just blend the edges. I don't have the number for this eyeshadow, but it's like a purpley metallic and um, dark pink slash cranberry color. Um, I don't know exact number, um, so excuse me. And I'm just gonna take a brush like that, so just a flat brush, and then just go around the edges of that. Still not going um, too close to 
the center, just focusing on the edges of that dark purple. Let's go back to that blending brush that I was using that wedge and take that wet eyeshadow again on the brush and just pop that into the crease so blending all that purple into the crease I'm taking Max a natural flirt. This is extra dimension eyeshadow, and this is a lovely a metallic pinky shade. I'm gonna pop a little tiny bit of jawline onto the brush, like a tiniest amount, and then dip it in the eyeshadow, and that'll really intensify that color. Just gonna have to find a really nice small brush for that. So just dip it into jawline and then dip it in the eyeshadow and that one I'm going to put right in the center and I'm sort of feathering that gently on the other colors as so I pop that one as well in my inner corner just to brighten it up That's what it looks like so far. And if you think it needs a little bit more blending, then just please do. I'm just gonna do the other eye now and I'm gonna fast forward it and then we're gonna go back to the eyeliner. So foundation I'm gonna mix three foundations today so I'm gonna mix the YSL Tusha Klai and um, L'Oreal True Match and cover effects custom cover drops And then I'm going to apply my concealer and I'm going to use the Shiseido Natural Finish Cream Concealer and this is great stuff guys. You only need a tiny bit of that and it doesn't go into line, it doesn't crease, I think it's pretty amazing. for under my eyes I'm going to use the mineralized skin finish by MAC for contouring I'm going to use Inglot's 508 um, contouring powder I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Chic and this is in Love Glow. This is a beautiful, beautiful blush and will go perfectly with this look. Lighter, it's going to be Soft and Gentle by MAC. Go back to the
back to the dark part of an Urban Techniques brush. I'm going to run this on my lower lash line. But only about halfway in. So I'm not going to go right into this corner because I do want to keep it quite um, light. Now I'm going to take my Charlotte Tilbury's Bedroom Black um, Rock and Con and I'm going to pop that on my top and low um, waterline. Back to this, I'm just gonna, um, just on the uh, dry brush now, just run that a little bit just to meet that dark purple. I'm gonna pop some mascara on my lower lashes, a little bit on my top lash. I'm gonna do my brows with the Inglot uh, Brow Liner Gel number 20 and just an angled brush. I'm going to do the lashes and I'm going to use the Eiler London Dramatic. This is the number 202. For the lips, I'm going to use MAC Captive, and this is a lovely medium purple. And that's the final look. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a thumb up and subscribe. Here's the bottom right there um, for more videos like this and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!